earthing, right? Earthing, grounding, that's your answer right there. Now, obviously, this is not what we use. We use screwing in, screwing. All right, that's the term we use is black eugenesis because we know the earth is our power source. <clears throat> so we screw in like light bulbs so we can come on, right? Very simple. All you guys do is connect back with the planet. Inflammation to drain right out your feet. Very simple. All you gotta do is connect with the planet. The inflammation will drain right out of your feet. Why is that so? Because we have a, a star, internal star in the planet, heat source. That spinning creates a layer of negative ions that coats the planet. All the negative ions, they come up between the soles of your feet, the, all of the nerves end in the bottom of your foot. They go into the lymphatic system or the body's plasma reserves, ionize them, electrify them. That goes up into the kidney for distribution throughout the body. So when you do that, inflammation gone. And that's free. That's free. All right. Every single living creature on this planet taps into that on a daily basis by connecting with the planet. Even if it's just coming in contact with a tree, because a tree has roots that go miles down into the ground. So it's an easy way to channel and funnel that energy back up. But uh, it's very unnatural for us to live the way we do. In fact, a source of inflammation is not being connected. So not being connected is not even really that much of an option. So as a part of the black eugenicists, we make this, this ritual, this is a part of our culture. Everybody should be doing this daily, two, three times a day, all right? Quick and easy way to put that, all right? But these are the actual, now mind you, I want you to take this um, with a serious grain of salt. These are the results. So it's one thing for me to tell you the effects of screwing in, connecting back with the planet, etc., etc. It's a whole nother thing for me to show you, show you the results, all right? So when you look here on the left side, this is a person, now mind you, this is a person that's an average person. This is not a vegan, this is not a vegetarian, this is not an athlete, this is not, this is your regular TV watching, Pepsi drinking, chicken spot, Newport, beer, a couple of Hennessy's, like this is that guy. Right? This is inflammation specifically. When you see the red and the orange, those are the areas of the highest concentrations of inflammation. Right? 30 minutes. After 30 minutes of being connected, this is this is how those same legs look now. After just 30 minutes. Alright? Just 30 minutes. You see the inflammation is almost all but gone. You see some little traces in here. All right, but if the inflammation is almost completely gone in 30 minutes. If we add in the, uh, the raw, vegan, vegetarian diet, if we remove the alcohol, the smoke, etc., etc., then the results would be 10, 20 times more uh, pronounced, right? But just so people can see that this applies to non-vegans and non-vegetarians, right? Because we're not just, I'm not just speaking to people that, just eat plants because our people are not we, we got to be realistic you know our people still eating their little little debbies and you see the inflammation here it's the same gentleman's back same gentleman this is his back all right and you see the inflammation subsiding getting less that lower back area where people have the most pain at right you can see in here it's completely green and then you still have that, I don't know, this may be the C4, C5 area in the back where a lot of people have trouble, all right? But this is one session. Every session, the results get more pronounced, all right? So even if this person just did this once every morning on a consistent basis after a week, a month, this would be a completely turned around body. In fact, the body would look back like the planet Earth. Because if you notice, the natural colors up under these thermal imaging should be the green and blue. Right? Just like the planet. Right? So go in deeper. Just so you can see uh, another shot. This is the front. Alright? Same person. This is the front. Alright? Alright? These are the joints and the pain areas where people complain most about. Right? I, 
could be up here telling you to get some herbs. <laughs> you don't need the herbs for this. This is all free. This is the pe this is what people need to know. Right? This is free. Free, free, free. Tap back into nature. It's all free. Look at these hips. Right? A lot of people have joint pains and, and, and hip. All this is just connecting back with the planet. All right? I want you to see the whole body. All right? This is just 30 minutes. And why is this important? A lot of us deal with hand issues. A lot of us are typing on computers and cell phones all day. Absorbing that radiation. Absorbing the abnormal synthetic magnetic field from these devices. All right? Trust me. I know. Sometimes I be when I write books, my hands be killing me. I be having to take a break, load up on Flex on the Beach, load up on Genesis to try to flush that stuff out. All right, upper back. All right, upper back, feet. Black folks, I should stop this damn presentation and turn the lights on. We got feet problems. We then got it twisted in our minds to the point where we ostracize that like from, I don't know about everybody else, but I'm from the Bronx. We don't even wear, men don't wear sandals. Period. Slippers just got cool and niggas still wear the socks under the slip, under the sand, under the slippers. Just because that's ingrained in our mind. Like we, you're not getting ready to see our feet. Period. Feet look crazy. Right? It'd be dry, you know, like... But that's because any part of your body you don't use begins to atrophy. Any part of your body you don't use begins to atrophy. And just because we're walking doesn't mean that we're using our feet the way they're supposed to be. We're supposed to be using them to connect with the planet and allow that electricity to flow through the body. All right. When we do that, the skin quality on your feet will change. The colors of the toenails will change. The bones, the way they're, you know, looking crazy. Well, it depends on how old you are. You're young, you still got some hope. If you're over 60, it might be a wrap. <laughs> right? But let's go into the blood. This is what the average person's blood that's on the standard American diet looks like. Right? This is nasty. Right? There's no way that this person is getting any circulation. Right? You can see almost completely that all the cells look like glass. So it's definitely anemia popping off. Down in here, where you see this little action at, those are white blood cells. So now we see the groundwork of how having this stagnant type of blood can lead to autoimmune disease. Right? But after 30 minutes of screwing in, this is what the blood begins to do. Open back up. You have flow. Now, you can tell that this person is not using the mamatomics and the magnet, etc., etc., because that's what this is. You see these little these cells where you can see this little whiteness on the inside? What that is, oh, hold on, my talking myself. You see these cells, here you can see this whiteness on the ends. Yeah. Ah, there we go. All right, I'm not alone. I have to let the camera know. But this is anemia. This person's anemic. You can see through these cells, that's what this is. You can see through these cells like donuts because there's no iron in the middle of the hemoglobin. All right, hemoglobin is the protein that holds iron into your blood cell. So iron plus hemoglobin is a red blood cell. Hemoglobin minus iron is anemia. All right? And when your cells stick together like this, it's called Rouleau. All right? Your cells are never supposed to stick together like this. So this person right here, I can tell, is copper deficient as well as B12 or cobalt deficient. All right? That's why the cells are clumping together like that. There's no longer a charge on the outside of the cell wall. All right? All right. So I think that's it on the screwing in. In fact, we'll look at the chart, hopefully. All right? So the frequency that's emitted by the planet is called the Schumann resonance. All right? It's about 8 hertz. 
all right just about eight hertz all right that's what we're tapping into now this is important right here all right let me get a guess not somebody who's seen it already a guess what is this Your iris? Yeah. It was a fairly good guess. Mm -hmm. Somebody said cancer cell. We still guessing? We still. Earth. <coughs> yes, we're still guessing. Earth. All right. Oh, well, you cheated now. You waited too long. <laughs> okay. You cheated. <laughs> <laughs> right? But from here, this looks almost exactly identical to a cancer cell. And this is what's very important to know. This is our planet. And the reason this, this stuff, this is uh, space debris. Space, this is NASA space debris footage. All right, so you have to know that our planet is being converted into a cancer cell. Your planet is being converted into a place where you can't really survive. You can't flourish. All right, because this right here creates a synthetic magnetic field around the planet. So if you want to know where so much gay activity is popping up, right? You want to know why all the men now are looking a little, a little sweet, the women looking a little strong. We have a synthetic magnetic field right now covering the planet, changing people's DNA. All right. So why is this important for us to know? Because now the planet needs us to screw back in just as much as we need to. So we need to for inflammation, etc., etc., and our daily health. But the planet needs us to to amplify the planet's energy to clean up this debris right here. And we can not do anything about it. We don't have to screw in. It's cool. It could just be some crazy black guy on YouTube talking some crazy stuff. However, in two to three generations, uh, we may not even be here in three or four generations. All right, because this is covering the planet. This is only getting worse every day because every day they're sending up more satellites. These are all satellites. They don't show this because of the cause mass panic. But these are all exploded satellites. Just straight garbage junk metal floating around outside the planet. All right, coating the planet, stopping UVB and UVC sunlight from getting into the planet, shutting down your ability to produce testosterone. That's why so much Viagra's and Blue Dragons and all those products are selling now because you can't naturally produce the hormones to keep your stuff right. All right. So it's very important for us to know that. So this is the schedule. All right, this is the plan. This is the blueprint. This is Minister Inky's secret for the longest. This is how I work with people. Autoimmune disease, cancer, etc., etc., etc. All right, people with HIV and everything. They all, everyone. Now the herbs are different. The herbs are tailored. But everybody that I take on is a personal client that wants to reverse the illness. This is what we're doing. And if they don't commit to this, then you don't work with me. Period. So three times a day we're going to do this. We would like to get people to do this first thing in the morning, sunrise, midday, and then um, possibly at sundown. You can do the third one. It's up to you. Now, the way we're supposed to do it, bare feet. In the dirt, hands up, wide position, um, hands slightly tilted back, the same way you see the um, the solar panels. That's sun workship, right? So the way we I sh we should be doing that three times a day. However, we got work, school, etc., and we don't want to look too crazy. So you can just go barefoot and walk for these two if you want to tone it down a bit. But the morning one is inflexible. You got to get those feet in the dirt, in the sand. Um, ocean works too. And get connected. You have to get connected. That is how you pull the inflammation out of your body. That's how you pull all the negative ions. They come up between the soles of your feet. The, all of the nerves and in the bottom of your foot. 
They go into the lymphatic system or the body's plasma reserves, ionize them, electrify them. That goes up into the kidney for distribution throughout the body. So when you do that, inflammation gone. And that's free. That's free. All right. Now, this is the counter. This is this is one of the pieces that go along with that. Very important. All right. Vitamin D production. All right. Vitamin D production. We are, as black people that live in North America, very, very vitamin D deficient. This is, again, why our sexual endurance and potency is not where it should be. Why is that important? Because Minister Inky's a freak. No. Oh, yes. No. <laughs> because if we don't worry about our sexual endurance and potency, we won't be here. That's how we stay here on this planet. So if we let that erode, we will not be able to make babies, not healthy ones anyway. And we, we see that problem creeping up slowly. You got a dark-skinned man like me, dark-skinned woman like me making light-skinned babies. Ooh, problem. That's letting you know that your genes are getting weaker. They're becoming recessive. All right? You're not, the carbon is not holding the molecule. It's carbon that's going to determine how dark a person is. All right? So... Carbon deficiency, big problem, all right? Carbon deficiency, big problem. Vitamin D deficiency, how can you see that in childbirth? Any child born bow leg. So if the baby comes out bow leg, that means the mom was vitamin D deficient. And you can see that like crazy in Philly. because There's so many Muslim sisters out there wrapped up. All right, so this gives you the schedule. So there's, there's no more of, of us groping in the dark. So now we'll know exactly how much vitamin D we should have. And they check for vitamin D levels in your blood plasma. All right? So when they test your blood plasma, this is what they should see. As a black man, 60 to 100 nanograms per milliliter. All right? For women, 80 to 120 nanograms per milliliter. Yes, you need more sunlight, ladies. And you need more vitamin D. All right? And the implications are there. We have children in here, so I won't go any deeper. All right? Skin conductivity. All right? We're talking about pulling negative ions in through the soles of our feet. All right? This has everything to do with that. In fact, um, I put this up in the 40 Day Fruit Fast group. If you don't belong to the 40 Day Fruit Fast group on Facebook, uh, kill yourself. I mean, join up the group. <laughs> Either or. Your choice. Um, but this talks directly to, and over the next 10, 20 years, you're going to see them begin to discuss electrons as a nutrient. So the same way they said you need to get your daily calcium, magnesium, etc. They're going to be talking about getting electrons in the body as a nutrient. Remember that I'm telling you that. That is going to be the biggest, biggest, biggest nutrient of the next 50 years, 100 years, etc. This governs your ability to assimilate. The number one thing we need to be alive, electricity. So they will begin to discuss this in a new light. All right. This is why yours is being degraded um, and destroyed and, and such heavily under attack right now. Go ahead. Where? I got one. Fire. Uh, it's kind of layered, but terminology, habits, and people taking on cultures that have nothing to do with their actual... Uh, All right, hold on. Let me finish up the piece on the, the, the screwing in part, and then I'll go to the... All right, because I know he's getting ready to come. He's getting ready to go crazy. You know he do. All right. Um, all right, so, darker the berry, sweeter the juice. Moving forward. All right. 